Peter and John had spent time with Jesus. And those religious leaders could see it. How many times have people said of us, I can tell that you've been spending time with Jesus. People will say of me, oh man, this man has been spending a lot of time watching ESPN because he knows all the things going on in the sports world. Or, oh, this man spent a lot of time watching college basketball this last year because his March Madness bracket is not broken. It's great. They'll say, oh, this man has been spending time becoming a better fisherman because he's always posting on social media all the large bass that he's catching. And not that that is bad, but man, my desire should be for people to say more, oh, this man has been with Jesus. And these religious leaders made that connection with Peter and John. It was clear to these leaders that these men belonged to the group that had followed Jesus. And yes, they got to physically be with Jesus before he ascended to heaven. But church, we have access to Jesus. We have the word of God and we have prayer. How much time are we spending with Jesus? How much time are we spending seeking him throughout the week? How often are we consuming the word of God? How often are we on our face crying out to the Lord in prayer? Are we spending our time doing so much of things of this world or are we spending time with Jesus? And when we spend time with Jesus, every aspect of our life and work will be submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And our submission to Christ will be evident to others by what we do and how we do it. Charles Stanley once said, the amount of time we spend with Jesus Meditating on his word and his majesty, seeking his face, establishes our fruitfulness in the kingdom. We must spend time with Jesus so that our words will resemble the words of Christ. We must spend time with Jesus so we can gain direction from the Lord about how he can move forward in every area of our lives. We must spend time with Jesus until we get wisdom from God about how to respond to the problems that we are facing in life. We must spend time with Jesus until we can hand that difficult person the fruit of the Spirit rather than a piece of our mind. We must spend time with Jesus until we can stand firm with spiritual boldness like we see with Peter and John. We must spend time with Jesus until every area of our lives radiates with the light of Christ.